Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Let's learn about the parts of a flower. A flower, also known as a bloom or blossom, is the reproductive structure found in flowering plants. Its primary function is to facilitate reproduction or to make seeds so new plants can grow. In this video, we will explore the parts of a flower. This is a petal. Petals are often colorful and conspicuous. Petals attract pollinators such as insects, birds, and bats. Here is the nectary. The nectary of a flower is a special part that makes nectar, a sweet liquid. The nectary is usually found at the base of the petals. Nectar attracts animals like bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds which come to the flower to drink the sweet liquid. When these animals visit the flower for nectar, they often carry pollen from one flower to another, helping the plant to reproduce and make seeds. This is the sepal. The sepal is one of the outer parts of the flower that looks like small green leaves. Sepals are usually found at the base of the flower and form a protective layer around the flower bud before it opens. They help protect the developing flower and can also support the petals when the flower is in bloom. Sepals are often green, but in some flowers they can be colorful like the petals. Here is the receptacle, which is the part of the flower where all the flower parts are attached. It acts as the base that supports the entire flower. It is located at the top of the stem. Here is the stem. The stem of a flower is the part that supports the flower and connects it to the rest of the plant. It holds up the flower so it can reach sunlight and be more easily seen by pollinators like bees and butterflies. The stem also carries water and nutrients from the roots to the flower and other parts of the plant. Now let's take a look at the pistil. This is the female reproductive part of a flower and typically has three main parts. Stigma. The top part of the pistil that is sticky or feathery designed to catch and hold pollen. Style. The tube-like structure that connects the stigma to the ovary, it allows pollen to travel down to reach the ovary. Ovary, the enlarged base of the pistil that contains the ovules or the eggs. After fertilization, the ovary develops into a fruit and the ovules become seeds. The pistil is the central structure in a flower that is involved in seed production and it involves the stigma, style, and ovary. The stamen is the male reproductive organ of a flower responsible for producing and releasing pollen. It consists of two main parts. Anther. The top part of the stamen where pollen is produced and stored in sacs called pollen sacs is also known as the anther. Filament, the slender stalk-like part that supports the anther and positions it for optimum pollen dispersal is known as the filament. Together, the stamen in a flower work to produce pollen which is then transferred to the stigma of the pistil for fertilization, ultimately leading to seed production. Let's take another look at the cross-section of a flower showing all the parts labeled. Flowers play a crucial role in the reproduction of plants by attracting pollinators like bees, butterflies, and birds, which help transfer pollen between flowers for fertilization. Additionally, flowers produce seeds ensuring the continuation of plant species and biodiversity. I hope you learned something about the parts of a flower today. Thanks for taking this learning journey with me. Until next time, as always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next.
email easyahomeschoolacademy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.